Hi, the SI Meteorologist Paul Doring here on Tuesday, March 4th. A bitter cold morning here in the Mid-Atlantic region. The big story in the eastern half of the nation is the bitter cold. Many locations have surpassed their all-time record low temperatures for the month of March, including right here in the Mid-Atlantic region. For example, Atlantic City, New Jersey bottomed out at 2 degrees. Coldest temperature ever there for the month of March. Dover, Delaware, 8 degrees. Dulles Airport, just to the west of the Washington, D.C. metro region, bottomed out at minus 1 degrees Fahrenheit this morning. That tied the all-time record low temperature for the month of March. Baltimore, Maryland, set the all-time record low temperature for the month of March this morning by bottoming out at 4 degrees above zero at BWI Airport. Charlottesville, Virginia, another area, reached 3 degrees this morning, an all-time record low temperature for the month of March. So these are not just daily uh, record temperatures that are being set, but in all those cases just mentioned, the monthly uh, low temperature record has been set this morning as this bitter cold air mass extends not only across the Mid-Atlantic region, but really all the way down into the deep south. This morning there is ice in and around the Houston, Texas area here in southeastern Texas. Temperatures right around freezing. The low to mid 30s right around New Orleans with the threat of ice and portions of Louisiana this morning, which is incredible any time of the year, but especially in the early part of the month of March. And again, all these areas in blue are at or near record low temperatures for this morning, and in many cases, record low temperatures for the month of March. This particular map from CoolWeather.com brought to you by uh, Drs. Um, Ryan Maui and Robert Hart. Well, here's the current surface map, and Arctic high pressure just dominates not only the Mid-Atlantic region, but again, all the way down into the deep south. That Arctic front passed all the way through the central part of Florida. It'll be a cold day today in at least the northern half of Florida for, for spring training games. Some ice being reported right now in southeastern Texas. That very well could extend into Louisiana over the next few hours, just uh, bitter cold conditions with many areas setting the all-time record low temperatures for the month of March. We do have milder air on the horizon. It definitely will warm up by the time the weekend rolls around, perhaps even reaching 50 degrees in some parts of the I-95 corridor uh, by Saturday afternoon. Here's the latest radar image of the uh, uh, across the U.S., and again, a lot of this is falling in the form of sleet and freezing rain here down in the deep south across Louisiana and the southeastern part of Texas. All of this over the Great Lakes region is in the form of snow. Uh, dry conditions expected here throughout the day in the Mid-Atlantic re region with plenty of hot, high clouds, but there will be some sunshine filtering through those high clouds. Nonetheless, temperatures will remain on the very cold side, way, way below normal for this time of the year. Perhaps the afternoon high will be about 28 degrees or so in Philadelphia. <clears throat> Excuse me, the normal high temperature right now in Philly is about 48 degrees, so we will be some 20 degrees below normal for this time of the year. Well, the next threat for any substantial precipitation will come at the end of the week on the Thursday night, Friday a time period. Right now, it looks like a coastal storm will only skirt the I-95 corridor between D.C., Philadelphia, and New York City, perhaps miss it entirely, but it is a close call, and we'll take a look now at last night's Zero-Z GFS model run forecast maps for Thursday evening all the way into Friday afternoon, and Thursday evening we'll have kind of a decent setup here for snow, but again, right now it looks like the coastal storm will just skirt the I-95 corridor. Strong high pressure situated to the north, kind of a cold air damming type of pattern here with cold air uh, on the east side of the Appalachian Mountains. And here's low pressure trying to organize off the southeast U.S. coast, a fairly wide area of moisture moving already into the southeastern part of Virginia. Again, this is Thursday evening. Let's now jump ahead six hours. And six hours later, that high slowly edges off the northeast U.S. coastline. Some precipitation just on the doorstep of uh, the D.C. metro region, central part of Del Delmarva Peninsula, southern New Jersey, possibly in the form of snow, but certainly uh, it could be in the form of rain or uh, uh, some kind of a mixed bag here on the light side. So again, the main point here 
is that for now it looks like this low pressure area only skirts the I-95 car. Let's now jump ahead six hours. And here's the forecast map for Friday morning. Back edge, southern New Jersey, right across the northern part of the Delmarva and across the D.C. metro region. Rain or snow showers at this time. Low pressure situated off the mid-Atlantic coastline. Still the back edge uh, just skirting the I-95 corridor. This is Friday morning from last night's Zero Z model run. Let's now jump ahead to Friday afternoon. And by this time, that low indeed starts to continue to uh, pull off the mid-Atlantic coastline, still just back edge along the I-95 corridor. So for right now, it looks like this next coastal system will only skirt the I-95 corridor. We'll, of course, monitor it over the next couple of days here at the SIweather.com. But for the, the main story today is the bitter cold, a very, very cold start to the, to the day, and it will remain very cold this afternoon for this time of the year, some 20 degrees below normal. That's it for now for the SIweather.com. I'm the SI meteorologist, Paul Dorian.